and she talked about Tennessee. She talked about her teammates and Pat, and there was a reverence there that was, you know, really, really special. Um, you know, that's, we felt like that was the right way to go, and and uh, I'm excited to see her get get to work. Coach, quick Russo here with Miguel Tien. You know, Kelly talked about how surreal this is. How surreal is it for you? Because she was winning national championships back in the day when you were winning a national championship here at UT. And how, how do you think Pat would, would uh, feel about this day as well? I think she'd be thrilled with this choice. And she had a number of lady balls out there that would, uh, could just have easily been picked. Uh, Pat carried herself a certain way and class and dignity and and uh, the lady balls that we interviewed and really all the people that we interviewed you know that's that's the, she's the standard bear you know and they they were much like her and I don't, I don't want to put too much pressure on Kelly by <laughs> thinking, even thinking you know I got to be Pat Summit that's you know the game has changed a lot since then, you know, there's a lot more schools in the country that are dedicated to, you know, having great basketball schools, women's basketball programs. There's, um, you know, there used to be six or seven teams, and, and, and not to take anything away from that or anybody else, but now there's six or seven teams in this league to try to beat your brains out, you know, and uh, so it's, it's a different time, and the game has changed, and faster and open and, and Holly Kelly gets all of that, all of that.